with more concurrent schedules. This time we're talking about change schedules versus tandem schedules, as you might imagine. It's about doing things in tandem. So go hit me here, and me here, and me here. Kind of like a chain. You can pull a chain. Um, anyway, I don't know why I had those visuals of pulling a chain through my body. I don't know. I was watching David Copperfield the other day, and I really wanted to do that magic trick. But anyway, beside the point, tan no, no, let's start off with chain schedules. In fact, let's back up a whole notch. What's the difference between a chain schedule and a tandem schedule? One thing, folks. Well, it could be a bunch, but really just one thing. One of them you discriminate, have discriminative stimulus, the stimuli between each change in your, um, in your schedule of reinforcement, and the other one you don't. Sounds kind of like multiple schedules and mixed schedules. It is, okay? It's the same sort of difference between the two. So what's a chain schedule? A chain schedule is exactly like what it sounds. You start off with one schedule of reinforcement. When you complete it, the reinforcer for completing it is the start of the next schedule. And the reinforcer for completing that is the start of the next one. And then it terminates when you complete that schedule with hopefully an unconditioned reinforcer if you're in the lab. But if you're in you know, the real world, it's probably a conditioned reinforcer because everything's a conditioned reinforcer in the real world. Except that. <laughs> anyway, um, so anyway, so you so you end up with that chain, right? So each link in the chain is discriminated. You know exactly when you're on different schedules, and so on and so forth. So what is this like? This would be like I don't know. Um, oh, working on your house. I want to put new floors down in my house. So what do I need to do? I need to pull up the carpets. There's step number one. Once I pull up the, once I pull up the carpets, now what do I need to do? I need to pop off all the tack strip and all the trim and all that fun stuff. So there's chain number or part number two. These are on individual schedules of reinforcement because there's so much carpet. There's X amounts of carpet. There's X amount of pull, you know, rugs that you got to pull out. There's X amount of tack strips that you got to pull out and so on and so forth. Each thing's discriminated because I can see what I have to do next. As opposed to if you go to work and you end up on a tandem schedule and the boss just says, go. And you have no idea what it is you're supposed to. Imagine starting a job. You were hired. Imagine this. You were hired for a job because you saw a job listed on Craigslist. And it said, the most exciting job in the world. Come join us for all your future needs and growth potential. And you go to an interview and they say, would you like to have a job? And you said, yes, I'd love to have a job. And they said, when can you start? And you say, I can start tomorrow. And they say, was $15 an hour okay? And you say, it's great. And you say, what am I going to do? And they say, we're not going to tell you. And you go, well, what? You show up for work on Monday. Is that going to work for you, ma'am, sir, whatever? Um, yes, that'll work fine for me. Where do I go? You go to that building. What do I do when I get there? You'll find out when you get there. Okay, sounds good. Go there on Monday. You go to your desk. You, open, you, find, you find a door. <laughs> you open the door. You go in there. There's a desk. You sit down at the desk. There's a computer. But you're given no instructions. You have no idea what you're doing. At some point in time, there's going to be reinforcers delivered if you complete particular tasks. Kind of feels like a bunch of video games, right? Sometimes video games do this to you, where they don't really tell you what's going on, just kind of figure it out. There's this stupid old video game that used to drive me absolutely crazy, and I threw it away. It's called Portal and Portal 2. I just can't deal with it. It feels like tandem schedules, I think, but I'm not really sure because they're really hard to come up with examples for. But basically, the idea is that you got to do all these different things that are on different schedules of reinforcement, and you don't know what it is that you have to do. Oh, there's another one. Mist was kind of like that. And a whole bunch of old video games that are kind of like that. Anyway. The point is, is that a change schedule, there's links in a chain. A tandem schedule, there's links in the, tan in the tandem schedule too. You just don't know where those things are. You don't know what you're expected to do. You don't know what the reinforcement rates are. And for crying out loud, there's no discrimination. So you really don't have any clue what's really going on at all. So um, in a nutshell, again, we have the difference between a chain and a tandem schedule is a discrimination. There is no SD in tandem schedules. And there is when you're on a chain schedule. So when you switch, those links in a chain are discriminated on a tandem schedule. They are not.